my name is Vanessa. Um, welcome to another episode of Funneling Math with me. So in this um, question or in this lesson, I'm going to, to highlight to you um, the ability to identify similar concept. In this case, um, the, this particular question, as I'm going to show you, is actually very similar to what we are familiar with, the simultaneous equation uh, kind of question. But in this question, slightly different because it contains three unknowns instead of two. But remember, we can apply the same concept that what we have learned in simultaneous equations into this. That is to by eliminating um, one of the unknowns. Let's try this question. The total cost of five books, six, pen, six pens and three calculators is $162. A pen and a calculator cost $29, and the total cost of a book and two pens is $22. Find the total cost of a book, a pen, and a calculator. Okay, so let's put in some graphic. <laughs> okay, for the first sentence, I will call this the main set. Okay, the main set consists of five books, six pens, three calculators, and that gives rise to $162. Okay, the other two pieces of information, I'll call it a subset. Subset one will be one pen and one calculator and that cost $29. The other subset two, I'll call it, I mean, would be one book plus two pen and that give us $22. All right? So now, as I said just now, we apply the same principle behind the simultaneous equation method. Make the quantity for one of the unknowns the same. So in this case, I will start off with making the quantity of the calculators the same. Because I want you to try out on your own what happens when you make the quantity of books and pens the same. You would, would um, have different results altogether, or different pieces of information altogether, but the same result, of course. So try it on your own. But for now, I will show you how I can uh, approach the question using keeping the calculators the same first. So if I want to have three calculators, so getting the same pieces of information from subset one, I will need to have three groups of subset one. So I would have three calculators plus um, three pens and that costs $87. Remember, they, are, they move as a set, so there's no way we can um, separate them. So you have to just move as a set. So in this case, it's pretty obvious that whatever the difference right now, we are able to capture it, that is $75. And that is, what is that all together? It's actually five books plus three pens. So do you know how to continue from that? So if you know the idea behind it, yes, the same thing. So right now, I'm going to use the information from subset 2. Okay, I, in this case, looking at the numbers, I would want to make the number of books the same. So meaning to say, I will need to have five groups of subset 2. All right, so, so that will give rise to five books plus 10 pens. And that, um, that costs $110. So right now, the solution is right in front of you because we are able to capture the difference um, of 110 minus 75 is due to entirely the difference in the number of pens. And that is 7. 7 pens cost $35, so 1 pen is $5. Right? So now that we have this information, yes, you're right. Again, we substitute this piece of information back to our subset. <laughs> All right, and then we can calculate. Um, once we find the cost of the book, we can use subset one and add together. Because what is required of this question is the total cost of a book and a pen and a calculator. Okay, so if I know one pen is five dollars, two pens we ten dollars. So a book will cost me using information from subset two twelve dollars. Okay, so since I already have the cost of a pen plus a calculator which is 29, so I just add one more book to it, which is $12, I will have my 
solution, forty-one dollars for the whole, uh, for the total cost. So remember, um, try it on your own. What happens when you try to make the number of bands the same or the number of books the same? So remember, you will have different um, pieces of information. From there, how would you manipulate the information to derive your solution? So happy learning! With that, I end my lesson today. So hope you enjoy it. Do uh, give me a like if you find it beneficial, and um, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Have a nice day. See you.